why explain to me i'm i'm willing to hear it in the comments section why 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 is that throw money to buy a time and text the person minister for enjoyment affairs yes I will enjoy myself. Put straw inside the fuel. So once you just put on the ignition, like this. Hello, friends. This is James of the James TV. Thank you for stopping by, and you're welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some ways I survive as a foreigner in Ghana, or better put, some ways I survive the current Ghana economy. As a foreigner in Ghana okay that's a mouthful but yeah some of the ways I get by and I survive economically yeah so um, I feel this video is going to be of help I don't know it all I'm still learning some of the things I even wrote down I still need to work on them I've done them but I, I mean I need to work on them you know and I also believe this will come in handy for you because the economy worldwide is not um, exactly a good one at the moment so some are better than some, but generally it's becoming more expensive. So um, I feel this will help you. This will help you save some cash and help you put your mind to rest, to be honest, okay? <laughs> yeah, so let's get right into the video. Ghana's economy is not even smiling. It's, it's not smiling. If you're in Ghana, you will know. So um, you can let me know in the comment section how you've been surviving. But yeah, I just thought to bring this to you. The first one is, I'm sure you might have heard it. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. But do you really do it? Is buy things in bulk. In actual sense, it saves money. With the, I'll, I'll speak, of course, based on Ghana or based on Accra. Okay, I live in Accra. Truth is, it saves money. Let me tell you. In my own perspective because for instance you might buy six tins of sardine in a month and you end up using maybe just four and you have two extra so next month you don't have to buy six again you just have to buy four extra do you get what i'm saying so most times you always have spillovers from the last month so it saves you cost for the following month do you understand and then during the month things might increase in price i'm telling you it's not even a joke Today you might see something for five CDs. Tomorrow it's probably seven CDs or five CDs, 50 pesos or six CDs. Do you understand? That brings me to my next point. If you see something that you need, not necessarily once, but if you see something that you need, I think you should buy it immediately if you have the money, okay? Don't say, oh, I'll come back to buy it. It has happened to me too many times in the last one month. I'll see something, maybe it's 15 CDs, and I'm like, oh, okay, um, I'll come back and buy it. <laughs> By the time I'm coming back, it's either it's not available, they tell you, oh, they've not supplied them, or it has become expensive. So I, I don't want heartbreak. So if you have the money and you need that particular thing, please buy it immediately. Don't even waste time or try to postpone and all of that it, it, it doesn't it doesn't help to be honest is that if you have the money you, you know don't go and uh, do more than yourself like in nigeria say no go do past yourself but if you have the money please buy it immediately the next one for those of you who drive please fill your tank I, I don't even need to tell you that last year sometime last year we're buying fuel for 18 cities 18 point something cities i mean yes last year sold for for 18 cities for one um liter now sometimes it fluctuates between 12 cities 13 cities 14 cities my personal tip which i want to share with you of course these tips are things i do the things i've practiced i've put i've tested them and they've worked is fill your tank don't go and say oh um i just buy some hundred cities oh and the tank is not full fill your tank I know it, all these things I'm saying cost money, but I think it's better to fill your at least once a week. Fill your tank. It will take you throughout the week. Well, depending on your usage, but it should take you throughout the week if you don't have all those cars that like destroy inside the 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 they put straw inside the fuel. So once you just put on the ignition, like this, you just suck. <laughs> just suck the whole fuel. I, I don't know how you guys do it, but yeah. Mm. For those people who have cars that don't consume a lot of fuel, even with those who consume a lot of fuel, to be honest, always fill your tank each time you go to buy fuel. Don't 
buy small so just fill it it costs money but i think it's better to fill it so that you don't get stranded just in case oh you say oh you buy 100 cities today tomorrow cry you buy 100 cities you realize tomorrow they could increase it you never know so because of the way things are fluctuating things are not straightforward these days so just do it immediately if you can do you get me another one is I, my i think my last video i talked about food there was one time i just said you guys of how i boiled rice it was a bit too soft the next day i turned it to rice water and all of that long and short of it is do not waste food you know gone are the days where <laughs> oh you eat some kenke be it remains small mm, you just toss it my dear don't do that it's in fact normally even those days we used to toss food it's 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 not even nice god will not be happy with us to waste god doesn't like wastage so there are other people <laughs> where i come from they when you're wasting food back in nigeria my home you say oh there are some people proud they've not eaten i don't want to call the name of the country but there's so, there's a particular country they always make reference to people from this country they've not eaten you you see food you're wasting it you know that kind of thing so somewhat is at the back of my mind that you shouldn't waste food but you know sometimes oh you have some um some small soup be some small soup left so you know this thing where somebody's hand has entered the food the soup so you might not want to keep it again you you toss it you know this time around cook what you can eat you see cook the portion you can eat do what you can maintain let's just put it that way so cook portions you can eat if it maybe you cooked some rice or whatever and it didn't go the way you like it twist it twist it up look for something that, that's why i said i made that video ghana is a very interesting place so you can always tweak foods here and there and just make it into something nice to eat longer short is it's going into your stomach okay <laughs> well still on the food matter to be honest cook more yes cook more oh i'm very big on yeah enjoying myself yes minister for enjoyment affairs yes I will enjoy myself, eat out when I can, and all of that. But to be honest, no, I'm not even saying you should not enjoy yourself from time to time. Please do. But before, if you were eating out, let's say four times a week, my dear, reduce it to about one or two times, okay? Don't make it a habit because it's a really bad habit if you create a habit of always eating outside. Any small thing, eat outside. I personally, I like to try things out. I like to try places. So I try it once, that's it. So it's not a constant thing. You no, know, even before the economy became like this, you will not see me eating out four times a week. Why? Why? Why would you do that? So I think you should eat, cook more. If you go out to work, just wake up a bit earlier, cook your food and take your food to work. Okay, cook more. You know, expect experiment with different dishes you know explore and all of that it will even help you enhance your skills if you maybe used to cook maybe once a month before you know try making it twice cook in bulk you know keep in the freezer meal prep you know you hear these things a lot on the internet meal prep prep your meals so that it's easier for you to cook i know there's no time there's so much to be done but to be honest just cook a particular dish or something put it in different um, containers put it in your freezer so you are craving something pick it up warm it and eat it i think everybody should actually know that by now you cook in bulk and put it in your freezer to be honest or your fridge depending on what you have but try not to put things that will easily spoil in your fridge okay so and label them yes jumps tv is noted for giving information you know and telling you things that will help you what i do i learned it as well and i've been doing it for a bit now for a while label your food in your freezer i cannot understand how you open maybe someone's freezer and you don't even know what is there you see different different bowls no labeling nothing nothing label your food label it so if you cook contemporary stew label it write contemporary either you buy your masking tape you write it with a marker or a pen or you get a paper piece of paper write it and put a cello tape on it tape you should actually label your food so it's easier so maybe even if you're rushing to work oh remember you cooked turkey stew the other day you just look through it and you find turkey stew bring it out not that you now come and be opening one by one to even if you live alone mm, 
yes <laughs> please label your food okay label your containers even sometimes your rubbers maybe you have maybe um, chicken in a particular nylon bag label it so that or a ziplock label it well ziplock you can see through but sometimes you can get so frozen you may not be able to tell what it is so label your things you know it makes you more organized and uh, makes life easier for you yeah hmm this one is a bit tricky but to be honest sit at home yeah sit at home if where you're going to is not entirely important just sit at home you see with what is going on in nigeria people have learned the hard way it's not every event you must go to to be honest i was talking one of uh, my friends got married sometime in january so um another of my friend you know we're discussing i was discussing with another of our friends so we're just a group of friends so she was telling me that that's the other not the one getting married the other one was telling me that oh that a lot of people are asking her if she's going to go for the wedding because it was outside of Lagos State and she said oh she can't go so she just said to be honest instead of me going we're all good friends but because of everything that is going on work you know expenses and you know security to be honest and I, I know this is not news anymore but security in some parts so it's like you know what and you know flight tickets too are a bit expensive so she would have to go by road she just said i'll package that money that i'll use for transport and send it to um a friend that was getting married which is fair enough so if you yes everyone is important to us you know there's some occasions there's some things that are really important but to be honest it's not everywhere you can actually go this is a very hard one but it's not really everywhere you can go instead of you going send the money that you would have loved to you know use to travel or go to the place send it to the person if it's not some aside, aside from occasions now if it's somewhere you can just text the person text the person call the person you don't necessarily have to go okay because that way you're saving fuel if you're driving if you're entering uber you're saving money if you're entering trotro you're saving money so just sit at home use that trotro money to buy a time and text the person do you get what i'm saying it, it seems a bit difficult of course you go for things you go for church programs go for events and all of that but at the same time try and balance it it's not everywhere you should go sit at home learn to sit at home if 2020 didn't teach you anything it should have taught you that there are some things you can do without things i thought that you would probably not live without you can actually live without them whoever thought that we could be working remotely yeah it is what it is so i, I believe we should have learned a lot of things from 2020 <laughs> now is not the time to be gallivanting all over the place save your fuel save your money go for i'm not saying you should not go for a event or a if someone calls me now someone very good if i can i will go if i have to go and shoot event go for event i'll go because i'm working as well so yeah working and enjoying <laughs> this is our job is very interesting though. so yeah yeah stay at home if you don't have to go out yeah you get it. now the next one is when you go out kill two birds with one stone if i kill multiple birds with one stone now let me explain if you are maybe going to today you said oh we are going to buy some food stuff Oh, and you remember that a hey, your tap is leaking you need to buy the the um, plumber told you to buy the the tap head um oh my broom b my broom has broken and i need to go and buy another broom oh my trouser tore the last time i i went out let me take it to the tailor honestly do all that rounds in that one trip if you can so that it will avoid you oh you today you go to the market then tomorrow you go and buy the the tap head then next tomorrow then you go and fix your trouser that's you're wasting money <laughs> so if you can whether you're driving this applies to anyone you're driving you are entering uber you're entering trotro do everything in one day if you can just so that you can save money and save yourself the stress of just going back and forth okay i hope that helps another one is this interesting because i felt victim <laughs> but not really victim monitor your ecg now ecg is electrical company of ghana yeah light people share in ghana <laughs> so the i don't know how it works for some people but for where i i live i have like a phone yes a phone where you can um check your ecg balance where you can recharge put your token and all of that so when i was preparing for this video when I got to the part of the ECG, 
I just realized that okay, that's true. I've not checked ECG this week, and I decided to check my ECG. Hmm. What I saw shocked me. I I know the tariffs have increased. I've seen it, <laughs> and I've been told as well the tariffs increased. They even sent messages that the tariffs will increase. I can't remember. Is it February or something? So what I saw, I'm like ah, but well, I just bought what how much the other day one week ago how did it get to this you know level and all of that that's a check it i don't know how like that like i said i don't know how it applies to you but check it as often as you can because you will, you just notice one day lights off you're the only one maybe in your area that doesn't have lights it's not that ecg cut your own light you did not have units so it <laughs> it went off okay it's not like they took light in the whole of the area you did not have ecg so it went off so please always check and you know put off i don't know when i was growing up right i don't know ah god yeah i'll publicly say it i'm so grateful for the people i had around me growing up i'm so grateful for the home i grew up in wow i was taught put off everything when you are leaving when you are going out Put off your what's it called your socket put off everything you know because aside from you know um what's it called is it power surge or light fluctuations and all of that put it off if you are not using it so you see some people they are in the room and then their sitting room fan is on why they are in the kitchen and their um, bedroom light is on why Put it off these things are maybe little they might not take too much from your light bill but still put it off you are not using it what you are not using please put it off i don't see why you are you are in the sitting room watching tv the ac in your room is on the fan is on the light why and there's nobody why why explain to me i'm i'm willing to hear it in the comments section why 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 <laughs> so put it off what you don't use put it off that way you save some money because even till tomorrow i don't know how that ecg went low like that i have no idea so yeah uh, well we still have to buy another one because we need light okay yes yeah, so yeah god will continue to provide for us this one <laughs> anyway please have emergency funds have uh some money put aside somewhere yeah 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 financial talk <laughs> anyway <laughs> have spare cash always have cash you know this ghana let me put just you guys something this ghana has so i don't know if it sports me because back in nigeria we i don't know if they have momo now but i think they've introduced something like momo i was always walking around with my atm card because every other organization every other place has a pos machine that's something Ghanaians don't really have you can go to a nice store now and they'll tell you that they are pos they don't have pos or something or the pos is not working it's not something they now i think they're getting better but at some point it was as if ah so how will i especially when i just came so how will i pay so the alternative here is momo right so i said all of this to say that sometimes i i work cashless and that is not good because network can misbehave that's the network to transfer your momo and to withdraw momo and all of that it can misbehave even pos too can misbehave okay so always have cash on you no matter how small you know even if it's some 20 cities be have it in your wallet or in your purse or something always have cash okay because you, you don't know where you know you can be stranded it's not only you know physically but maybe your bank or something you know just put some money aside all these tips i've given you are ways to save money to not spend too much of course all these things i said i said at the beginning buy in bulk you know during the month there are some things that you have to be bought on repeat e.g maybe if you eat bread crate of eggs depending on how you guys consume or how many you are in your family crate of egg, water anyway there are some things that you have to buy on repeat e.g onions too sometimes you might not want to buy too much so it doesn't spoil or something like that so there are things that you have to buy at least twice in a month that's fine so you should put that in consideration as well maybe chicken you know i don't know how you eat in your house i don't know how many you are in your house but these are just ways I feel you can survive well these are ways i survive as a foreigner in ghana the last one but 
I think the most important, relax. Don't overthink it. God will provide. Okay? Don't overthink it because thinking doesn't solve anything. Okay? The fact that God will provide doesn't mean you should be reckless. Okay? Or you should sit down and not do anything. No. Just be wise about it. Just remember that God has got you. He knows what is happening. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He has said it in his word. So you cannot just um, feel like, oh, I must save money. I must do this one. You should save money. You should do all of these things. However, you should also put your mind at rest. Don't panic. Because God already saw this beforehand. He already knows the end from the beginning. So you have you have to calm down. You know, take it easy, eat some nice kinky. Know that God has got you. God is in control. That is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed sharing it. Like you know, this channel is all about giving information and you know, just telling you all the good things that you need to know. Okay. So yeah, these are ways I survive. The way I say it is as if <laughs> anyway, these are <laughs> anyway, these are ways that I cope and survive as a foreigner in Ghana and still try to have my head on my shoulder. <laughs> Alright, guys, I hope I wish you all the best. Tell me in the comment section how you go about your phones, how you survive and all of that. I'm willing to hear. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!